Are you having trouble locating sunken bones? You know it's in the pond but don't know where to go. Well don't worry. In this video I'm going to show you how to easily get sunken bones so you can craft a bubble helm. So thanks for tuning in. This is the life of a gamer. Now sunken bones are pretty difficult to find if you don't know where to start. So check out the resource surveyor and searching sunken bone. You'll see it's located around the center of the pond. The sunken bone will be located all the way at the bottom of the pond. So the best way there will be heading toward the sunken T-Rex. Okay, so once we know where the sunken bones are, let's gear up for the pond to harvest the sunken bones. Okay, so the ideal equipment you'll need to harvest sunken bones will be a gill tube, which will increase your air underwater. Fin flops will make you swim faster, slime lantern so you can see in the dark underwater, and an acorn shovel so you can dig up the sunken bones. And once you get 5 sunken bones, you can craft the bubble helm, which will make it very easy to explore the pond. Now really quickly, I'm going to show you how to get the lily pad wax and the eel grass first. So the lily pad wax will be under lily pads, as you can see right here. And for the eel grass, you will need some sort of dagger to cut the eel grass in the pond. Swim down the pond until you see some eel grass. Use a dagger to chop down the eel grass and then pick them up. Once you grab these items, you can craft equipment needed to get the sunken bones to explore the pond. Okay, so this is the equipment needed to harvest sunken bones. You'll need a guild tube for air underwater, slime lantern to see in the dark, and an acorn shovel to dig up the sunken bone. Now the rest of the equipments are optional, but it'll make exploring the pond easier. So fin flops to swim faster, koi armor for body armor, pebble dagger to attack underwater bugs, and you can drink smoothies to make exploring the pond easier. So like liquid gills for more air underwater, and fluid flippers for swimming faster. So let's equip our gear and head over to the pond. Okay, so I'm at the edge of the pond and pulling up the map, I'm located right here. And I'm going to head to the sunken T-Rex. Okay, so just follow the path I'm going in the pond. And you want to dive all the way down toward the sunken T-Rex. you'll see some air bubbles near the sunken T-Rex. This is where we are going to regain our air if we are about to run out. So pulling up the map, I'm right at the sunken T-Rex. So once you're at the sunken T-Rex, just head all the way to the bottom and you'll see some sunken bones. So here is a sunken bone, but as you can see, it's barely visible. So a slime lantern will be useful to see the sunken bones. Now a slime lantern will be required to gather most of the sunken bones, because you will be unable to see without it, as you can see here when I unequip the slime lantern. So let's re-equip the slime lantern and dig up the rest of the sunken bones. So once you have about 30 seconds of air left, go to the air bubble near the sunken T-Rex to regain your breath. As you can see, I just barely made it, but it's because I left around 20 seconds instead of 30 seconds. Now once you gather 5 sunken bones, head back up to craft the bubble helm. The bubble helmet will make it a lot easier to explore the pond, so better to grab the bubble helmet as soon as possible. You gotta put your past behind you. Look kid, bad things happen and you can't do anything about it, right? Wrong! When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on them. That's not what I was told.
And if you're running out of air, grab the air bubble near the sunken T-Rex. Okay, so once out of the pond, you can see I grabbed five sunken bones to craft the bubble helmet. Okay, so at the workbench, I can now craft the bubble helmet. It requires four eel grass strand, five sunken bones, and four silk ropes. And then let's head to the pond to test out the bubble helmet. The bubble helm will make exploring the pond way easier because it basically doubles your air underwater compared to the gill tube. Okay, so hope this helps and more grounded videos to come. Thumbs if you enjoyed, sub to check out what's next. But of course, go out there, keep grinding, and always stay grounded.